all right guys welcome back to my channel today we are unboxing some of the some of the stuff I ordered from Hot Topic for um, I don't know I'm drawing a blank today um, Comic Con 2020 New York all right, now we can put this to the side and um so this let me see marble all right so i'm not a, like i always say i'm not a big fan of dc but dc is doing pretty good lately with the characters being released or the way they look which catch my attention and we got the nightwing nightwing 2020 fall convention over here i always try to get two of each of Special edition stuff. This is the second one. So the reason why I always try to get two of each is because a few things. One could come in damage uh, or more damage than the other depending how bad the packaging is. One could come in damage. I could use one to trade for something else I'm interested in that I didn't have the time or I couldn't get it at the time, whatever the situation was. So I like to have a second. I could even sell it later on. Let's say I want to sell my second. I want to trade my second for something else I wanted. Or one of them didn't come in the best condition possible. So I just try to do that just to have something set up in case it doesn't work the way it is, the way it's supposed to. Mm, this red goblin look real nice in the back. I like the, the little bag cover. Pretty nice. They, I, I feel like they did a really good job with the Red Goblin. Really good. This should be a second Red Goblin. Yep. So, um, I was unboxing this and I decided, why not show off everything I got from the Comic Con 2020, right? I actually didn't have a chance to grab everything I wanted. One of the things I missed, sadly, was the Target exclusive Danny Phantom. I, I'm not the biggest fan of Danny Phantom, but that Funko, that pup was nice. That pup was real nice. I wanted to get hands on it. Like I said, I don't like to pay above retail. I'll say if I have to, if it's something I really want, the most I could go above retail, maybe $10. I just don't, don't like paying above the price that of what something should cost. And I'm not going to make these scalpers rich or whatever. No. Not trying to do that. So, I did get to, um, I have a chance to get the Marvel Miles Morales um, street, street art. Um, I got a chance to get it because GameStop restocked. I was really psyched about that. I also got myself, I don't know if this was a restock. For the Simpsons Bart um, Werewolf. I'm not sure. And I got a chance to get the Marvel Zombies Daredevil. Which I also got two of those just in case. And I was really psyched about that. I like I like the way it looks. It looks amazing. I'm a big fan of the Marvel Zombies collection. So I'm trying to put that together. At the moment I have Zombie Hulk, Zombie Gambit. No, I don't have Gambit. It hasn't even been released yet. Zombie Hulk, Zombie Wolverine, Zombie Deadpool, Zombie Mysterio, waiting on Black Panther and Gambit to be released. I think both of them will be released next year. I'm not 100% sure. But I could not get my hands on Magneto Zombie from... Uh, where was it from? Huh. I guess I'll look that up and leave a link somewhere in there. Leave a little screenshot of it. So, guys, why don't we open them up and get a closer look at them, right? All right, guys, let's take a closer look at the uh, Comic-Con 2020. So, Bart is a real nice one. Um, there you go. Get a closer look at it. This is Bart as the werewolf. Real nice. I'm not a big Simpsons fan. I'm not going to lie. But great figure, great figure. I've never seen the episode. Like I said, I'm not a big fan. Here we have Nightwing, also a real nice one. 
I like this one a lot. I like the black with the blue accents on it. Makes it real nice. The classic um, suit. Real nice. And even though DC is not my favorite brands of superheroes, that can go wrong with that one. Then we also got the Daredevil Zombie. I think Funko did a real nice job with that. I like the two different color eyes, one looking bloody. Uh, it comes in a stand as you can see, but it looks real nice. It's a little jump pose, I like that. And one that I seem to enjoy a lot is this red um, goblin. Real, real nice. I think I like it better than the original one. The colors are so nice on it, black and red. I seriously think I like it more than the original one. Even though this is obviously supposed to be the Venomized one. And that's one reason why I wanted to get it. Well, technically, wouldn't these wouldn't this be like Carnage? Because the original Venom one is the Green Goblin. But real nice. I like the details with the flames at the bottom. I like the little face on the, on the bum on his hand. Real nice. Real, real nice. And lastly, we have Miles Morales Street Art. Um, honestly, I see what people are saying. You can't really even like tell what character it is until you get real nice and up close. And you can see the little details on the face. You can see the mask, right? But at the end of the day, I don't think there was a need for this. Then $25 for nothing in the back they could have put a little design a little something back there i'm from new york and i don't find this special at all honestly i really don't i don't know if i'll be getting the other ones like the daredevil um captain america and i think the other one was iron man i don't i'm not sure if i'll be completing the collection for this one I just got this one because if I if I ever decide to get the collection, this is going to be the hardest one to find since it's the Comic Con 2020 and it's going to be rare, very rare. I did happen to get it um, on the second chance around though because it was a restock. I actually couldn't get my, I didn't get my hands on it the first time because I wasn't sure if I wanted it and I'm still debating about it right now. So those are my thoughts for what I had today. Um, let me know which one's your favorite here in the comments. Also, let me know which one's your, your favorite superhero or villain. Or which was which um, 2020 Comic Con exclusives did you get to find? Or did you choose to buy while it was happening? Or did you even get any? Because I know it was hard to come across some of them. Like Danny Phantom. I'm not going to forget about that one. So just leave a like if you liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more of this because there's a lot more to come. All right?